How's it going everyone? I am Jeremy Alexander and welcome to 5 Must Have Tips for Your Pixel Game in Construct 2. No thrills with tip number one, make a new retro style project, it'll come with some default plugins and some basic retro style configuration settings that is perfect for your pixelated game. Tip number two is all about the window size. We want to make sure we have the ability to upscale. If you go to your project properties, you can see your default window size when you make a retro style project is 320 by 180. This by default is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So if I do 320 and I multiply it by 6, then I'm going to get 1920. And if I take 180 and I multiply that by 6, I'm going to get 1080p. So that's going to be a full HD 16 by 9 aspect ratio. If I change the height of this to 240, now I'm going to actually have a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So if I multiply both of these by 4, I'm going to get 1280. And if I go up to 240 by 4, oops, let's go back, 240 by 4, I'm going to get 960. So that's going to be a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. Making sure that you can actually make the smallest window size possible to upscale to a proper resolution for a monitor is really important, especially in pixel games. Tip number three is about your layout. So right here we have a 1280 by 1024 layout and a 320 by 180 window size, which isn't gonna cut it for me. I'm gonna change the layout size to something that is 16 by nine. I'm gonna make it 640 by 360, and now I have more space to work with. Your layout size can be anything you want. It's not as important as the window size, but I like keeping it as close to HD as I possibly can when it comes to scale. What I wanna show you now is making your tiles bigger than your assets. And what that means is if you're going to have a level, make sure that the tiles are just a little bit larger than the actual players and enemies involved. We have a tiled background here. And if I actually just select this, it's 32 by 32. So if I actually make a new tile map, if I go here to the new tile map, uh, I can actually put this in here. And now I can go and draw on my tile map at 32 by 32. Now I actually have a level to work with, and I want to make sure that my player is smaller than that. So what I'm going to do here, and it's common to just make a sprite 16 by 16, 18 by 18, something like that, as long as it's smaller than my tiles. This is actually very important in pixel games. I don't think it's uh, common to do it the other way around, so make sure you kind of are aware of what is going on with this. Let's put this to 255 do this, let's do this, and this will be our player. So now when we actually hit play on this, you can actually see this is smaller than our level, which makes our player feel more in the world. Tip number four is all about turning pixel rounding off. If I hit play, you can see I set up a basic platformer with a lurping camera to our player. It's something I've come across a few times, and it's actually default by the retro style project. So if I'm walking to the right here, you can kind of see my player start to twitch and freak out. That's because the camera and the player are snapping at integer positions, which is kind of like snapping it on a grid. What we want to do is be able to snap it in between too, otherwise known as the float positions, and this is very simple to fix. All we have to do is go into our project properties and turn pixel rounding off because it's on by default. You can double click on this or you can just drag it down and turn it off. Let's hit play now and now our camera is going to be perfectly smooth with no twitching player in between. And this is something that I've come across, I've had questions about. Make sure that you turn pixel rounding off if you're making a pixel based game. Tip number five, our final tip and one of my favorite tips that's a must have for your pixel game. If I hit play here, you can see that I've actually taken our text object, moved it down and put it on its own layer that is going to act as our HUD. So it's gonna follow our player static like this. But if I zoom out, you can actually see that it's gonna mess up a little bit. On top of all of that, even when I don't zoom out, this actually looks awful. You can actually see that the text itself has artifacts and this is the default text object that came with the retro style project. When I zoom out, everything has artifacts and all of this looks terrible and how am I supposed to develop 
a pixelated game if I want an interesting camera and zoom out? How is this supposed to work? So here's what we're going to do to fix it. Let's fix the uh, text object first. It's a very simple fix. When we have our parallax rate at zero and zero, we also want to disable our scaling. So when we actually mess with the scale, it's actually going to stay in that position. And we put the scale rate on that layer to zero. So now when our layout scale actually changes, you can see that it's not going to move. So that fixes that problem, but we still have this horrible artifact display when we actually change our layout scale and zoom out. So how do we fix that? If we go into our project properties, we need to, we need to turn two things. The first is full screen scaling. We need to make sure that this is high quality. This is going to completely change everything about our pixel game. It's going to look so much better. Then we're actually going to turn high dots per inch display to no. Technically you can have it as yes, but I'm just going to turn that off altogether. When I hit play, now you can actually read the text perfectly as it was meant to. And when we actually zoom out, we're having no artifacts whatsoever and we can actually use this as a benefit for our camera, for our game, to actually scale in and out of our pixelated game. So that is the tip number five, the most important must have tip for your pixel game. Thank you so much for watching this video and congratulations on making it through my five must have tips for making a pixel game in Construct 2. If you didn't already, please like this video and if you want to see more, subscribe to this channel for daily tutorials, let's play to learn videos, and live streams. Check the description below for discounts on my course and my new starter template which jumpstarts your Construct 2 game. You can check it out now on the Skira store. Also make sure you follow me on Twitter for more live updates. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.